Hello and welcome to our view from Series. We are at Swift Business Forum London and I'm joined by Jennifer Sharsky Calvary, who is Global Head for Financial Crime Threat Mitigation at HSBC. Jennifer, thank you for joining me. Thank you. You have just completed a panel discussion on the impact that geopolitics and the evolving nature of geopolitics will likely have on compliance when looking at financial crime. What were the key points from that discussion? Well, it's a fascinating topic, first of all, because it's uh, a lot of fascinating things happening geopolitically uh, in the world today. I, I think our key takeaways from this session were really around uh, the idea of is the regulatory regime, which is meant to protect the integrity of the financial system, which is meant to enable financial institutions to provide information useful uh, to governments uh, for financial crime purposes, are we achieving those ends uh, as effectively as we could be achieving them? And I, I, it seemed to me that the takeaway was no, perhaps we aren't. And, and some of the geopolitical uh, uh, pressures and issues are, are, are causing that. Um, but really there were three key takeaways that I felt like the panel left with. One, we need greater public-private partnership. We need government and industry to share information with each other more and more iteratively. Government has information that industry does not. Industry has information that government does not. For us to be optimally effective, we need to be working together. Secondly, we need to deal with the issue of how we share information across borders. We, we haven't seemed to have cracked that issue. And when you start talking about geo political issues and money flows globally. That's a cross-border issue, and so information needs to flow across borders on the public side and the private side. And then finally, in an age where technology is really um, coming to the forefront, how can we benefit from that? How can we use artificial intelligence? How can we use the blockchain? How can we use big data, data science? How can we use those advancements in a way that can meet some of these goals in an appropriate and effective way? So quite a lot to tackle. And of course, over the past few months, we've seen the geopolitical landscape really changing, um, playing into the point of uh, international cooperation um, versus domestic concerns. So we've had, um, obviously, the Brexit vote, uh, a new um, president in the White House, which seems to be, um, at least nominally, uh, against the globalization, other um, such um, um, ideas and uh, tensions going on in Europe and elsewhere in the world. Um, so what's your focus? I know it's very difficult to, uh, to provide a focus at this stage, but how do you see your space developing as a consequence of this? Well, I work at HSBC and we're a global bank. So, uh, you know, we really get to see what the trends are in terms of geopolitically what's happening. How is money uh, movement reacting to that? So how does trade change? If, if we are seeing, if we will be seeing, and I think it's still an issue of will be seen, but if we will be seeing um, some bit of a retrenchment to more nationalistic or regional um, uh, kind of uh, business relationships, that means that, that trade is going to change and that financial flows are going to change. And if we're in the business of looking for financial crime within those flows, we need to be ready to change with it. So right now we're keeping our eye on the geopolitical situation for sure um, from a financial crime context. And trying to end on a positive note, are there any positive developments that you would like to highlight perhaps that have occurred over the past few months? Or yeah, even? There's some great things going on. So in, here in the United Kingdom, uh, we have a public-private partnership known as Jimlet. It's a money laundering investigations task force that's doing great work. So that's a good example of public-private partnership. We have different countries around the world, whether it be Singapore or to Mexico, to the UK, that are really pushing reg tech and fintech. And that's an area where I think we can see some real possibilities uh, for the future. So there's a lot of exciting things going on and it, it's more how do we capitalize on them. Very well. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you.